All right, Kevin, you ready to drink? It's not a problem. I'm ready to do exactly what you want to do on the drinking front because I think it's part of investing. You have to invest in the beverages you drink. When you invite a shark for drinks, you've got to order top shelf. So I have brought Kevin O'Leary to the only place in the world where you can try this, a super rare collection of Balvenie whiskey that costs $60,000. But first, I want to make sure Mr. Wonderful has the cultivated taste buds to appreciate such an expensive libation. This is like the millionaire's Pepsi challenge. We're going to have two whiskeys. Yeah. One of them is $24 an ounce, and the other one is $200 an ounce. My sensitive palate will immediately taste the swill. So guys, first of all, we're going to try this whiskey, handcrafted in the islands of Scotland by the Balvenie Distillery. It packs a little whiskey. punch at the end. Oh, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Yes, yes it does. My it's goodness. Quite a strong whiskey, guys. Yeah. I might just have another sip of that. Okay, so put them down, remember that. And let's try this one. What do we think, guys? I feel that my history as a member of the Chevalier de Testavin will allow me to see through the thin veil of this inexpensive beverage versus how expensive this one's going to be. I, I agree with you. The first one was the expensive one. The 24 per glass whiskey was this one. And the $200 glass was this one. So your membership is still intact. Ah. And proving again that you have expensive taste. Now that I've been introduced to this, this is a horrible outcome for me because every time I have a drink, it's going to cost me $200. <laughs> yes. All right, Kevin, we are going to get the full Monty now. You ready for it? I'm ready. Hi it's guys. the Blues Brothers. Look at this is a giant suitcase. So what kind of dollars are we talking about here? The full set is over $60,000 retail. This suitcase is $60,000? It is, yeah. And the packaging alone is worth $4,000. And which of these is the most valuable? The most valuable is the 1961, which is not sold individually in the U.S., but it would probably go for over $50,000. Just that bottle? Yep. It's the oldest Balvenie ever released, 55 years old. We are looking at $5,000 worth of whiskey right here yep. that we're about to drink. And then you've got to put a 20% tip on it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start with the youngest, actually, the 2004. I love that. My goodness, these are incredible. That's scotches. big. Yeah, I drank almost all mine. That's that, okay. was, that was good. You've got to pace That's yourself, I know, man. I pace know. yourself. So 1993, American Oak, lighter, sweeter. That's yeah. still my favorite. Cool. Ah, yeah. great. All right, so let's move to the... 81, guys, yeah. So again, very light American oak color. I may legs. have to move this up to the top of my hip. Ah, cool, yes, yeah, good. Let's try the 73. Oh, my goodness. That is spectacular. Wow. All right, let's go to the big hey, kahuna guys. here. The big kahuna, yep. This is actually very unusual. When it gets to 40 years of age in the cask, something magical happens and it's always beyond whiskey. Before you drink it, give us the price again one more time. So normally you get an ounce or an yeah. ounce and a half. It would be $3,200. I love it. Cheers, lad. Ichi wawa caramba. That is unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> That's something else. Yep, the flavors disappear and then they come back in waves. My goodness. There is a lot going on in this little glass. It's an arrogant taste, but I appreciate its audacity. Yes, oh, that's a good quote. I'm drinking more than my first car cost. <laughs> That's an so, experience. So, so experience, I get why it? people would pursue this. I yes. get it. There's nothing else like this in the world. Well, guys, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm sorry I'm not giving this back to you. <laughs> you can finish that one. <laughs>